Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be doing another epic mob battle, and this time it's going to be between a lot of mutant snow golems, and when I say a lot, I mean a very um, large amount of them, and also the wither. So let's see how the mutant snow golems, well, an army of mutant snow golems, do against the wither. So first off, I'm going to be introducing the two different mobs. So the first competitor is the mutant snow golem. Well, lots of them. But anyway, if you haven't seen the mutant snow golem before, every time he walks, he puts down snow blocks like the normal snow golem, and also his main attack is throwing ice blocks at his opponents. And since he's actually thrown the ice box, he should be able to hit the wither while the wither's in the air. So he should be quite an even battle. Although I'm going to have to be using a lot of these um, to make up for the actual amount of health that the wither has. So the opponent, the mutant snow golem, is the wither from vanilla Minecraft. So here we've got the wither and he's flying around like mad and he's going to kill that sheep. But there we go. So as you probably know, the wither's main attack is throwing explosive um, projectiles at his enemies. So you can see there he just killed that sheep with his explosive projectiles. But he just seemed to be uh, trying to get through the wall there, which is a bit dumb, but there you go. And he will attack all the vanilla mobs in Minecraft, so it should be quite an interesting battle between the wither and the mutant snow golem. So who do you think is going to win this epic mob battle? Comment below! So let's get this mob battle started and now you're going to see what I mean by a lot of uh, mutant snow golems. So we're going to spawn 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15 mutant snow golems there. And then one wither. So let's see who's going to win. 15 mutant snow golems or one wither. And you can see instantly there's loads of ice blocks flying everywhere there. Poor wither is getting bombarded by ice blocks. And the main attack of the wither of course is the explosive projectiles which is going to be firing down at the poor mutant snow golems below. And of course every one of those projectiles is going to hit quite a lot of the mutant snow golems since it's got a large explosive radius so it should be quite interesting. And whoa look at all those ice blocks, it's mad! Maybe some of the mutant snow golems will start hitting each other and then attacking each other which might go in the favour of the wither there but the wither's actually got 213 health left whereas the mutant snow golems is actually some of them appear to have disappeared. So at the moment I think the wither is actually winning this battle because there's only like a, about no, actually, there's quite a lot of mutant snow golems left, just ignore that. Um, but here we go, so you can see the wither's still firing his projectiles, and the mutant snow golems are actually trying to get... getting quite low on health here. I think it's going to end up with, like, three mutant snow golems against one wither at the end, but the wither's going down to half health, and of course remember that the wither actually regenerates health, and he'll start regenerating stuff, and he's now got the... He's going mad now, look at that, he's turned slightly red, and he's going straight down and trying to attack all the mutant snow golems. And look, there's barely any mutant snow golems left now. Oh, the weather's got 100 health left, and there's only about three, well, four mutant snow golems left. Well, now there's two, and now we're down to the final mutant snow golem against the weather. So at the moment, yep, there we go. The weather's just completely owned, and now he's firing at the ground. What, why are you firing at the ground? I mean, what are you doing? I mean, come on, you're meant to celebrate your victory, not fire at the ground, like you're completely deranged, but there you go. So yeah, the weather has actually won that one. Partially thanks to his regenerating health, and also that these projectiles were hitting more than one mutant snow golem at the same time. So there we go, so if you thought that the wither would win, you were correct there. So um, even though it seems like a bit outrageous that I was going to be using 15 um, mutant snow golems against one wither, it turned out at the end that the um, wither was even more powerful than 15 snow golems. So there you go, um, thank you for watching this epic mob battle, and I'll see you next epic mob battle. And also please remember to leave a like if you enjoy the series so I know whether I should make more or not. I just want to say something at the end here, um, the fact that sometimes the 15 mutant snow golems actually did defeat the wither when I was doing practice fights earlier. Uh, I think I did a total of about 5 different practice fights, and the wither won about 3 of them and the mutant snow golems won 2 of them, so this battle actually could have gone either way, but in the end the wither did win and that puts the total wins for the wither of 4 different battles, so there you go, I think the wither is actually the worthy winner of this um, mob battle. So there you go, thank you for watching of course, and I'll see you next mob battle.